For centuries, reports of unidentified flying objects have been recorded during times of war. From the battlefields of World War II to the jungles of Vietnam, these sightings have left the military personnel, witnesses, and researchers in awe and bewilderment. Some say they are advanced technology from rival nations, while others argue it may be a sign of something far more sinister. In this video, we will unveil some of the most cryptic and perplexing UFO sightings that have occurred during wartime and delve into the theories and speculations that have been put forward. Brace yourself for the world of UFOs and wartime encounters. The skies over Europe and elsewhere during the Second World War were filled by a mysterious phenomenon known as Foo Fighters, a term coined by American pilots. Pilots from both the Axis and Allied powers reported encountering peculiar glowing orbs that seemed to follow their planes. These mysterious lights were a source of curiosity and confusion, as they could not be explained by any known technology at the time. As the war progressed, the legend of the Foo Fighters grew, taking on an otherworldly quality. Reports of encounters with strange, glowing entities were met with intrigue and speculation, as they seemed to defy all explanation. However, reports of sightings became even more enigmatic and strange after the first atomic bomb was detonated, as if it opened a gateway for the unknown and otherworldly. Deep in the wilderness of Montana, a strange event occurred on March 16, 1967, at Malmstrom Air Force Base, an air base that stored intercontinental ballistic missiles, ready to respond in the event of a nuclear exchange with the Soviet Union. On that night, reports of UFOs were tracked on radar and visually sighted by airmen at the base, but what happened next remains a mystery to this day. One missile launch officer, Robert Salas, claimed that not only were UFOs spotted, but something even more extraordinary occurred. According to Salas, he was on duty at the Oscar Flight Launch Control Facility when he received a report that a UFO was hovering above one of the silos containing a missile. At the same time, all ten missiles in the silo became inoperable. Other reports from other officers at the base also claimed that multiple missiles went offline at the same time as the sightings. The United States Air Force conducted an investigation as part of their Project Blue Book study on UFOs, but they were unable to provide any explanation for the event. One can only wonder, what is the message that these visitors are trying to communicate with us? Are they here to observe, study, or warn us? Or is it something else entirely? The sighting at Malmstrom Air Force Base would be one of many cases where alleged craft would visit nuclear missile facilities. On the night of December 26, 1980, near the twin bases of RAF Bentwaters and RAF Woodbridge in Suffolk, England, two United States Air Force security patrolmen, John Burroughs and Jim Penniston, reported seeing an eerie, bright light deep within the forest. They claimed that the light seemed to be a craft of some unknown origin and that it appeared to have landed on the ground. The two men said they ventured toward the object and found that it was triangular in shape, with bizarre symbols etched on the side. They also claimed to have received telepathic messages from the craft's occupants, messages that they couldn't understand but felt compelled to follow. These events, however, took an eerie turn only a couple of nights later. On December 28, 1980, the deputy base commander, Lieutenant Colonel Charles Holt, led a team of men into the forest to uncover the secrets of the strange lights seen the other night, but what they found was beyond their wildest imagination. The team claimed to have observed mysterious lights in the sky, dancing and pulsating in the darkness. They ventured deeper into the forest and found evidence of a landing site, including indentations in the ground and radiation readings that were off the charts. The team reported that their compasses and other instruments were affected by the lights, as if the lights had some sort of magnetic pull. As they explored the site, Halt recorded the events on his tape recorder. The following are segments from the actual recording from that night. We found a small blast, what looks like a blasted or scruffed up area here. We've got very positive rays. Let's see, is that near the center? Uh, let me Three trees in the area, immediately adjacent to the site, within 10 feet of the suspected landing site. We're picking up heat reflection off the trees. Like five and up. What's that again? Zero 148, we're hearing very strange sounds out of the farmer's barnyard animals. They're very, very active, making an awful lot of noise. This is a pigmentation. You just saw a light yeah, there. Wait, 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 slow down. Where? Right on this position here, straight ahead, in between the tree. There it is again. Watch, straight ahead off my flash right there, yeah, sir. There it is. Oh, yeah, I see it too. What is it? We don't know, sir. Yeah, it's a strange, small red light. Looks to be out maybe a quarter to half mile, maybe further out. I'm going to switch off. 
The light is gone now. It was approximately 120 degrees from the site. Let's move out to the edge of the pairing so we can get a better look at it. See if you can get the star scope on it. The light's still there, and all the barnyard animals have gotten quiet now. There is no doubt about it. There's some type of strange flashing red light ahead. There's yellow. I saw a yellow tinge in it, too. Weird. It, it, it appears to be maybe moving a little bit this way. It's, it's brighter than it has been. Yellow. It's coming this way. It is definitely coming this way. Pieces of it are shooting off. There is no doubt about it. This is weird. Yeah, definitely moving no, left. Two, two lights. Two one light to the front, okay. one light to the left. Keep the flashlights off. There's something very, very strange. Despite a good portion of these sightings having happened in the United States, they continue to this day, leaving many to wonder about the true nature of these unidentified flying objects. Reports of strange lights and inexplicable movements in the skies continue to pour over from all over the world, and not just the United States. Other places, such as Ukraine and Russia, have also been plagued by a surge of sightings, as the ongoing conflict between the two nations continues to escalate. <laughs> On September 16th, 2022, Kiev's main astronomical observatory released a highly detailed and intriguing paper on objects seen over the country that seemed to defy all known explanations. The objects, described as either cosmics or phantoms, have been reported by the observatory. Skeptics as usual were quick to dismiss the findings, claiming that the objects could easily be explained by incoming rocket or artillery fire, or by birds and insects. But many in the scientific community and beyond are not so quick to dismiss the sightings, as the detailed descriptions and observations provided in the paper leave little room for conventional explanations. Boris Zilayev, a lead astronomer at the observatory who initially released the report on the strange objects seen over the country, followed up his initial report with two more papers detailing the unusual and unexplainable flight characteristics of the objects. He stated that the objects seemed to exhibit unusual maneuvers, such as sudden turns and changes in velocity. He also explained that the distance and velocity of these objects were beyond anything that could be produced by any known animals. Adding to the intrigue, recent reports indicate that Russian military forces may have shot down one of these strange craft. On January 3rd, 2023, a chilling video surfaced showing what appears to be a surface-to-air missile striking an unknown object in the Rostov Oblast in Russia, close to the Ukrainian border. Eyewitnesses reported that the object was in the shape of a ball and hovered at an altitude of about a mile and a half above the ground. The Russian government has been tight-lipped about the events, refusing to provide any further elaboration or confirmation about the true identity of the object. Are these strange balls of light the same ones that were following the fighter planes during World War II? Why did the unknown craft supposedly shut down those missiles in Montana in 1967? What were the craft trying to communicate to the two airmen during their encounter? The answers to these questions elude us, shrouded in a cloak of mystery and intrigue. As we delve deeper into the unknown, we are forced to question our own reality and ponder the possibilities that lie beyond our understanding. Are these encounters warnings from otherworldly beings, trying to alert us to the dangers of our actions? or the potential consequences of opening a gateway to other dimensions? Or are they something else entirely, something beyond our comprehension? The recent transparency of our government in disclosing information related to UFOs and other extraterrestrial-related issues is a step forward into uncovering the truth. But as we gain access to new information, it seems that the answers we seek remain just out of reach. The truth behind these mysterious events may forever remain a mystery, a tantalizing enigma that continues to captivate our imagination and challenge our understanding of the world. Only time can lead us to the truth. <laughs>